So last week I made this weird prehistoric fish thing, but there was just one problem. I messed up on the eyes. They weren't quite as they should be, so I decided to fix it. Wank. First of all, I'm so happy with how this turned out, I could vomit. Second of all, the importance of the eye placement on the tectolic boils down to its overall importance as a discovery as a whole, because again, this was a fish, but yet its eyes are on top of this flat, almost crocodilian-like skull, and unlike other lobe fin fish, the skull was actually separate from the rest of the body because the tiktaalik actually had a neck. And so it could move its head independently from the rest of the body, which is a pretty absurd thing for a fish to be able to do. But it doesn't end there because for all the sets of gills that this animal would have had, it also had a very primitive set of lungs. And then even within the fins themselves were the bones of an upper arm, a forearm, and wrists at the bottom. So yes, for all intents and purposes, the tectolic was a fish, but it was in some weird middle ground between what was and what wasn't yet quite to be. So that's why we know it as a transition fossil, because it had traits of its ancestral group, which would have been lobe fin fish, which it was, and its descendants, which would have been terrestrial or land-dwelling tetrapods. So basically, you can take all of your worldly grievances and issues and blame it on this little cheeser crawling out of the Devonian mush about 400 million years ago. So what a cool animal.